months into 2019, Christmas was about four months ago, and I'm still collecting Christmas stuff. Hey everyone, it's Malay Organa here, and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing a what I got for my birthday haul, like I do every year, so I thought I'd go ahead and continue tr the tradition. Now this video is a bit late because my birthday was a couple weeks ago, but I still really wanted to make this video for for you guys so without further ado let's get into the haul now the first thing I actually didn't even get for my birthday it was more so something I just did last year and I thought I'd still share with you so I actually went and watched the Alice's Adventures in Wonderland ballet here in Canada I from there I just kept my ticket the program it still smells like the theater and the I don't know, this other booklet, oh, it fell, oh, well, this other booklet, it's upside down, okay, okay, well, this, this other booklet that they give you, I guess, um, now, I also do ballet, so here I have this pair of leg warmers, which also happens to match the color of my leotard in ballet, so I really like this pair. Then I got um, this foot stretcher from the company Ballet is Fun, and this is actually really cool. It just stretches your foot out, it strengthens your arch. It's just a really, really nice ballet tool, I guess. I'm not sure. <laughs> then I got these two books, which are a part of the Everything You Need to Ace series. So I have one for math and one for science, and these books are just really cool. If you know me, you know that I love learning, so I really like these books. Here I have a little pork plushie from the movie Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now, I have to admit, I wasn't the biggest fan of The Last Jedi. It wasn't one of my favorites in, within the whole Star Wars saga, but I still really do love an adorable pork, so here's this guy. Another Star Wars related item that I got for my birthday this year was this Funko Pop of C-3PO dressed up as Santa Claus. I know, we're four months into 2019. Christmas was about four months ago, and I'm still collecting Christmas stuff. Well, yeah, I got three of these for Christmas, and I just thought, because it's a really short line, I may as well just try and collect them all. So I was really happy to have gotten this one for my birthday, even though we're quite past Christmas now. Next, I have this Funko Pop of Gellert Grindelwald from the Crimes of Grindelwald Funko Pop line, and he's just a really cool one. And my favorite Funko Pop out of the three that I got was this one of Rubius Hagrid. Now, he's also a six inch Funko Pop, which is really cool because I think it's very accurate to the whole Harry Potter series. Um, so that's a plus. And on top of it, he's also holding the Happy Birthday Harry Cake, which I think was really nice since I got him for my birthday. Here I have these three books which are related to Harry Potter and Fantastic Beasts, so I'll just go ahead and show each of them to you. So first up I have this Wizarding World Pop-Up Book of Curiosities. I've been wanting to get this book for so long now, and I just, you know, couldn't, I just couldn't find it around, so I was really happy to have gotten this for my birthday. So here's um, one of the little pop-ups in this book of the Sorting Hat. The book is... It's really hard to, sh to hold it up, but you get sort of like the idea. And then here I have the Newt Scamander movie scrapbook. This book just has information on Newt Scamander as well as other bits and pieces from Fantastic Beasts. And it also has like little pullouts and other interactive bits. So for example, you get this little map. Um, you get like these little, I don't know, these cards here, which I think are pretty cool. Um, here on this section, which is which is um, titled "Fantastic Items," it actually has a little pullout of a Transfiguration today, which I guess you could just take out, display on your bookshelf if you'd like to. It's just a really nice interactive book, so I really like it. And a book that's pretty similar to that one, but also has to do with Harry Potter, is this movie magic book. So this one is about extraordinary places and fascinating. Sorry, extraordinary people and fascinating places. I'm assuming the other volumes of this movie magic series are about different things, maybe creatures, artifacts, whatever. But this one's a really nice book and I was very happy to have gotten this for my birthday this year. Here I have this box set of the first three Harry Potter books. This box set is called The Magical Adventure Begins Box Set. Um, so we just have the first three books in here and it's just a really nice box set, I guess. 
and I actually have never seen these editions before so I was super surprised to have gotten them for my birthday but inside we have the Philosopher's Stone, the Chamber of Secrets, and the Prisoner of Azkaban and these are just really nice simple kind of covers and I think they're really pretty but they are still really nice editions and I'm happy to have them in my collection. Now for those of you who have watched my most recent Harry Potter haul you know that I'm in the process of collecting the original covers of the Harry Potter books. So for my birthday this year my parents actually got the rest of the set for me which I was very surprised about considering that I only had two out of the seven books and they ended up getting me the rest. So first we have this box set with the first three Harry Potter books. These are also the Canadian editions, if you, in case you were wondering. It's just a really nice box set. And inside we just have Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And it has this random wizard on the back. I'm not sure who it is. If you know, please let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but the newer ones have Dumbledore, so that just goes to show that this is one of the earlier printings. Then I have a copy of the Chamber of Secrets, the Prisoner of Azkaban, the Goblet of Fire, the Order of the Phoenix, which I already had this one, but I thought I'd still show it to you guys anyways, the Half-Blood Prince, which I actually originally had in paperback, but I got one in hardcover as well, and finally I have the Deathly Hallows. So yeah, that was everything I got for my birthday this year. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!